Chevy zebra have undergone one of the most substantial range reductions of any African mammal. Today, they're found only in Kenya and Ethiopia. They've also undergone a huge decline in population numbers, going from about 15,000 individuals in the 1970s to approximately 2,500 today. 93% of the total wild population in the world is only found in Kenya. The main reason for their decline in the past was hunting. This was mainly to feed the fashion industry, so hunting for their skins. I've grown up in Kenya and I've seen zebra throughout the landscape. I spent a lot of my time going through the vast majority of national parks in the country. But Grevy zebra, when I first saw them, stood out to me. They're bigger than the plain zebra, which is also found in Kenya. They have much thinner stripes than the plain zebra. They have a white belly, which is unique. Grevy zebra are classified as endangered under the IUCN Red List and have been done so for the past 30 years. watu walikuwa wanaua wanyama saidi lakini wakati mimi nilikuwa nilikuja ni paka nikaingia hii kazi nikakuta imepungusika sio kama vile nilifikiri kama samani labda watu walikuwa wanajua wanyama kama nini walikuwa na wanaona tu ni kama mnyama tu in the past hunting was the main cause of gravy zebra decline hunting for their pelts. However, to date, hunting doesn't play a significant part. Grevy Zebra Trust works directly with communities to conserve Grevy Zebra. And we believe that this grassroots approach is vital to the success of conserving the species. Throughout the Grevy Zebra range, both in Samburu County and Masabit, we work with warriors. So we have our warrior program. We work with ambassadors in Alberta, and that's our ambassador program. And we work with scouts in Wamba, and that's our scout program to conserve Grevy Zebra. Rangers. Ingine wamekuwa ma conservers. Sasa kitu ile ni liabidi hata mimi ni usike ndani ya wanyama wapori. Nilipendekeza kuwachunga kabla hata sijaandikwa. Wakati niliingia nilikuta imepungusika si kama ya samani. Samani wako tukwa tunajua maana. Tukwa tunasema ni wanyama. Lakini saa hii tumekuta we bring in all demographics of the community to conserve the species. So we bring in women with our scout program. We bring in both the Turkana and Samburu with our ambassador program. And we bring in the Samburu and Rendile warriors with our warrior program. Our warriors follow Grevis and that's the main activity we do around. These camels are very helpful, and especially during the dry spell. When these grevies do not find enough pasture on the plains, they go to the plateaus for refuge. We are working with uh, 10 warriors and three scouts. And uh, most of the warriors are residents of Laisamis, but they are mostly Rendile. These grevies do not find grass or enough pasture on the plains, they go to the plateaus for refuge. And uh, because it's our main activity to follow them, then we are left with no option but to use camels, try to reach these gravies where they are. Warriors were trained to use a smartphone and uh, the, the GPS coordinate is installed. So whenever they save an observation, the GPS coordinate automatically reads. So we take back these smartphones, it has a, an app in our laptop at the end of every month and collect all the data that has been collected from all the locations. And then out of that, we can draft a, a good report and maybe try to understand what was the movement of the gravis throughout the month, where is the population targeted. 
kiara waleng tuk naik ayu rutu waleng. Amu yul apa dikwe? Naik ina bel mesuk agi tuk. Yul tata nenye, kewa nenengi nake napa taka nenye. Yul aku wongwe yul agni niki lik sabok dul untuk ngkrusi. Nara itu untuk naik obi sei poki. Naik fene ja. Tane wo sabok dul wai kata i kam naran tuk i ma dol tungwana tuk wana kai tuk kotor nui ita wichi. Bagi tana mung kotan. Hagi sabok wadi. Nang asina bonu aya gini na ina data shit na ngasa ligin dar gini na ligin isa wongo jia gps na ito ina ligin na ito ki na na a joga na kore na ngo ji ngo ji tine ngi yotin ko ari ngi yotin ni ta ta arin ta na ta ra patin na ba yo gara ngara na ga manya na ndi mina ti wenyi ete gara mi yongo jine ti mesi na ike chamu yo ri tuko shi dono bonu anya ga ke chamu. Naik itu kau boleh asil, naik uang kau itu kena itu tak siapa kau dah. Naik kau lepas bonus tu aku mai show, naik tu dia antari. Naik dah dah mungkin aku mohon apa ini angam ada, kau dah naik dah ya semua dah mata aku ni. This animal love open plains. This open plains also is very good for pastoral communities in terms of grazing. There's a lot of competition in terms of grazing of gravies and the young stock, you know, like the goats, the sheep and the rest. If there is no pasture, then the water scarcity is also there, then they get vulnerable. Kati jinga nara kasi lenche na kayu ramat lenche na karamati tanam kati nasher aritetang witi nipoke ni kata salarin tomon kari buah sapa na kamu kaji kini jam arin naga peni majul na daiken. Jadi tak kumi ni tapi ni nado arin tanah ipundus lagi nukur kumi ni tayi ambatan mudinati. Kita ni mau pergi, kita jual hotel kasih darah mat. Amu kau datang bagus, anak kita semua dah kita nanti. Nih malu itu kusi, anak aku tu dua anak tarian anda kau ji. Terpaksa kita jadi nak dikit kita mula ini, mula ini kerana jepai ini mula jadi nak. Ini community, na kata tu ki, kai kai rudi apa community? Kai rudi ingkar sekolah itu pun dus, nai rudi itu kuti, tu semua itu pun dus, mahu dua darah mat, tu itu kusi. Tambah batu mula itu nak darah nak si tangan kai dia mula itu nak mat. Na aku kau rujuk di mana je fok, kerana dia bawa komuniti ni tu dua bawa ni je ni ramah tu rujuk kau cik tu mui tin nama nya. Rujuk aja kiri lo dah na aku mui tin semua dua kiri tu itu tu angkap tu ni nipu pembata na tu guna kiri tin kujit ni mui tin kare ni tu rujuk tu kau cik ni tu som. Na aku itu tangan kare ni la na na la rujuk dia tu aku tu kau sepat na let jab baki aja kiri bawa pembata na tin kare pas malam mui tin anak na pernah ruko. Asal mabuk buku buku guna som, nunggu aja orang kalau nak aku, tanah asing itu dulu pun lagi aku nunggu abah kalau lagi aku mata mata guna itu kau siapa mau tu mesti dah. Aku ke ini kore, guna som mang ni kerang mati. Aku ke giri zon kerang ini pukul kasi, nak kita tambah sari ni pukul. Ni yang kerang rotu wendeng, nairu dia abah kalau meran. Aku ke dia orang dia lokasi sini, nairu dia abah ni jadi lagi, nanti zaman tu dulu, tangga dia kena nasi tambah tunggu jit. Conflict plays a very big role in impacting Grevy zebra. So it affects their distribution. Grevy zebra are sometimes the victims of accidental shootings, and displacement is also a very big worry. Kati nado anak terdiar raga pen, ni yang nak jadi sedam tu terdiar nado agak mujuk pok nado terdiar siapa nak nak dibuat tu kan? Ni mujuk pen yang jadi sedam nado agak. Gravy zebra are distributed in Alberta, and conflict is the major threat to the species there. So we're aiming to build peace within conflicting tribes by bringing together the Turkana, Samburu, and Pokot communities within our our ambassador program. We have representatives from both of these communities, the Turkana and Samburu. And they work together, they share a message, and they take that message out to the rest of the communities. The current bare land in the northern Kenya is a big challenge to gravies. Any single drought that comes, we experience a lot of uh, death on gravies, and this is because of this uh, land degradation issue. Gravies feed on a specific shrub, which is a very dominant shrub in the north. It's actually called uh, Ikatagesi in, in, in the Samburu language, and it's actually their favorite. 
At the moment that shrub actually disappears, then the gravies tend to move away from that area as well. Unfortunately, 2017 was quite a bad drought year for, for Kenya, and they had a huge number of gravy zebra mortalities. So the Great Gravies Rally of 2018 is timely in sort of looking at the impact of the drought uh, on the species. Places where you could have lots of teams. Wow. Exactly, because you have to spread out. Yeah, of course. So much. So these rules of you can't ride off the road. Exactly. So as much as you want. You don't have those. Fact, exactly. You can the Great Gravies Rally brings together scientists, local communities, politicians, regular people from urban centers. So this could be Nairobi, for example. It brings together international researchers. It brings together local researchers. It brings together organizations. So in that regard, it's, it's a fantastic way of bringing together people from all walks of life. It's really amazing in that the, the data collection method for the Great Grevy's Rally is simple enough that anyone can do it. So the rally is about people, and people have come to be trained. We've been working all week training conservancy scouts and rangers, and we've been working with people in different parts of the country, how to use the cameras, how to take pictures, because they're going to be in charge of their teams. And they're going to have areas that they've been assigned to drive, and they just drive haphazardly because we don't know where the zebras are. They're hiding out, they're coming to water, they're grazing. And so the more effort they put in and the more cars driving the landscape, the better the coverage and the greater the likelihood we're going to capture every zebra. I come from further north, that's in Kenya, uh, in Samburu County. Samburu people are pastoralists meaning that uh, they fully depend on taking care of their livestock. There are areas that were, you know, like home for gravies. And there was these planes in Westgate Conservancy whereby I could go with a motorbike, collect data on their stripes, and I could, you know, get 450 gravies. That I could take like even the whole day just moving between them. But that has changed. The gravies have somehow moved from their areas where they were much comfortable with and, you know, they easily survive. And I'll move to more dense areas to, to even different far lands looking for water and pasture. You can now go back to the same plains where I used to count 450 and, you know, you hardly get uh, 10. We use a very sophisticated camera that has both a GPS and a time clock. Most cameras don't, and we want to know not only when the animal was seen, but where it was seen before we identify who it is. So this camera is the heart of the operation. But we have to synchronize this camera with all the other cameras whose clock may be set to Berlin time or to New York City time. And there's a way we do that by them taking pictures simultaneously of a particular little card. The results that we are going to get, it's uh, very important because it will uh, tell us how much did the drought impact on the gravis. see some tracks of gravies which came from um, the area that they were grazing and going to a water point. There is a dam just uh, more east of my hand. And I can see I can see a male here that went to water. And even from the tracks, I can see mud, some pieces of wet mud from the tracks. And you can tell me that this gravy has taken water. 
They can't stay in the more dense areas because they fear lions. Uh, they are very fearful uh, wildlife. So they come here in an open space, stay in the night. That's why you see the dung here. And when they go for water, they come relax here. And then early in the morning, they walk back into the bush. And then back in the evening, they come as they move to the water. So gravies now are looking for pasture more the more dense area, unlike before, where they used to prefer open grassland and more open areas. We hope to find some, mm -hmm. and that's why uh, it's good always to come early. This is one of the an example of the gully that's uh, coming up in these plains. Gullies occur as a reason of the land lacking any vegetation. There is a lot of overgrazing. When the rain comes, so all water collects and uh, goes down to the gullies, and the gullies keep on increasing and expanding. This is a uh a clearing process taking place at all the Niro community on Safa Senarupa. And the clearing we are doing is a, a species called uh, acacia revisence. Now acacia revisence take advantage of dry soils where the land has totally kind of degraded. So the measure we are taking, at least to avail the kind of a grass for the grave zebra, which are within this community, we are hoping to start receding. There's that moral, even from the clearing, they really want to clear a big portion of it for their livestock to get something to feed. This is Rebecca, she's one of our scouts. She's advising us there's one male that normally a uh, territorial male that stays behind this block here. So we'll have to go around that to see whether we'll be lucky. Hi, Mama. Abari. For Kalama, the value grave is a lot because of the benefits they are getting from, from the graves and from the entire wildlife uh, through the conservancy. The community are now sharing like uh, water resources. What they do, they dig like just open up the wells so that for the graves they come during the night and they come and get water as well. Also pour water into the troughs uh, and leave them overnight so that the graves can as well come and get them. It's been a long day since seven, and now it's uh, around four. The gravies were grazing up in the hills, and now they're coming out to go for water into the place and to the dam. You can see at least the ground here is a bit healthy, and the gravies have something to eat, so they are all converging in this place and uh, grazing. I'm happy the team didn't lose uh, energy. We we're going to be generating 100,000 pictures which we compare against each other on day one and day two, but we can also compare them against the individuals we got in 2016 to see if the animals are still alive, to see if the animals are in the same place.
it's not normal for us to have uh, the plants being green at this time of the year. It's because of the rains that we recently received. The gravies are back to the plains. We have uh, 250 now, and we're looking to have a better year, unlike 2017 and the other years back. People value wildlife because it's part of the ecosystem and also give them security. When herders are looking after their livestock in the grazing areas, when they see a herd of gravies, they somehow relax because they know that that tells me there is no predator around. So a world without gravies, a world without uh, other wildlife, is a total sadness, you know, just darkness. <laughs> Kerja bakai kat tu mahu anak kita terpelajar. Nampak kita bakat terutuk di nama semua mana dah ke na yenda. Na tu mana lekas selagi na ini na tu mahu tangkar lagi. Na isan tu kita nampak ke. Na isan tu yang lekas selagi. Na ibung na tersegera muka ti di tua. Pandilis sama kat tu mahu ini sida. Muka tu mahu bakat asinan. Kaya ngan kau nanti terus lekas selagi bakai. Na isim ini nama cita. Na iya bakat ata kat kerja bangkar ini school. Angkar kerja lekas. The hope for the future is to have grebe zebra populations sustaining themselves, having the rangelands that they rely on being productive enough to sustain them for years to come, and having the communities that rely on the same resources inhabiting those environments with tolerance to grebe zebra. So we would like to see grebe zebra livestock and communities inhabiting these environments benefiting each other in the way that they always have.